Botscopy, Botscopy, Nicolas Venance, Botscopy, a show by Yottinger Magazine. Hello everybody and welcome, uh, welcome to Botscopy, a Botscopy live from the Yachting Festival 2022. In front of me is a flagship of the Sairons of the German shipyard Bavaria, the Bavaria 57. And today, lucky viewers, we have the chance to to visit together this boat, private tour, with its architect, Maurizio Kosuti. Good afternoon, Maurizio. Good afternoon, Nicolai, thanks. It's a pleasure to meet you for this private tour, 15 minute private tour about. Okay. What was the brief of the yard, Bavaria, when they contact you to imagine the, 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 the flagship of, the, of their sale offer. Uh, we have to say that we, we love Cannes and is particularly linked to this boat because our collaboration with Bavaria uh, started here when we presented in 2014 the concept of this boat to the management and uh, it was accepted and so really this boat was born here. Uh, the, the brief was to completely cut uh, the, uh, the, the lines with the old Bavaria line. Uh, it means that they asked to have a new design, exterior design, uh, a performing boat, as much as possible of course for a cruising one, and uh, to try to change the perception of the brand in the, in the visitors, in the, in the clients. So it was not an easy task. I would say that after uh, five projects with, uh, with uh, Bavaria and still something going on, uh, we are pretty happy. The way we work with them and uh, the result of the boat, the 57, 50, 45 and the new ones. Yeah, a very nice boat. Uh, we have to say that the concept of this boat was declined on all the family you imagine after. Exactly. We, we prepared the sketch with uh, once with the, the main concept was accepted, we prepared the sketch with all the possible sizes of the boat and how we can uh, transfer the, the design from the big one to the smallest. To the smallest yeah. and, and it's not an easy task you just ah. scale because the human being yeah cannot be scaled. Yeah. So the proportion changes uh, going down. The longer the, the boat is, the easier it is. Exactly. Because on a small exactly. boat, exactly. it's really complicated. Exactly, exactly. You are right. So, so can you explain to our viewers the style you imagine for this boat in terms of design? Yes. The first, the first thing you see is that we decided or we choose uh, to have a different deck concept that is made in two levels. Why we, we made this? To, uh, you, we need to have a certain internal height. We didn't want to have a too much high freeboard, of course. And with ah. this first level and second level, we cut the volumes. And so you have the perception of a sleeker uh, coach co 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 roof, yeah. while in reality it's, it's, big. it's, it's big, yes. Ah. So this is the feature that we started with this boat that was sketched on a towel during a dinner with, yeah. the, with the Bavaria boss and was accepted and was transferred to all the, the sea line series. Yeah. So the first thing you say is also the, one of the most important, I would say. The second one was to have very, very, very big uh, windows on the hull. Yeah. I think they are still the bigger yeah. than the competition to give the maximum possible uh, light inside. Uh, you, you have the bow. The bow is really powerful. The, yes, the bow is powerful, but what is interesting is that, okay, our DNA was to design uh, performance cruisers and racing boats. So we wanted to have below the waterline a nice hull, a sleek hull, but the outside we need volumes and the, the, the and inside we need the volumes of course so the the great challenge is to still have a, a nice hull a performing hull yeah. 
combined with the possibility of have a cruise interior, uh, family, the, cruiser. family cruiser, exactly. And so we decided to have this rounded bow, vertical, uh, that gives this particularly appearance. So, uh, in terms of rigging, what was the the the, the brief for the rigging? Well, the the brief of the rigging was uh, classical for this kind of boat. So aluminium mast with the possibility to have uh, in mast the furling for the for the mainsail. Uh, possibility to have both uh, the Genoa or the the self-taking jib. And uh, this is standard now almost in all boats, yeah. the shrouds on the on the gunwale. And we were completely free to decide the height of the mast, so how much was power we yeah. wanted. They didn't tell us nothing. Really? Yes, naval architecture was our duty and we were free to decide it. Yeah, because you did naval architecture, yes. you did design, but you did We also uh, did engineering. the engineering, the structural calculations and, and every, every part of the, the internal layout. Only the internal style was decided by the internal architects of the, of the Bavaria. Maurizio, it's a dream for a naval architect, such a, such a brief. Si, si, absolutely. But we like to, of course, they have their internal office and we work together with them. Uh, but we find that the mix of the Italian uh, way of, of work and the German one was uh, mixing very well. Good mix. Si. We will go at Abzeev to discover yes. the bathing platform because we are aboard a, a 57 footer si. and such a boat needs absolutely a bathing platform. Uh, but, uh, and must be big uh, because it's something that you use in, uh, in uh, cruising. You have to the possibility to uh, move and arrange the, the, the tender yeah. and in this case you see we have uh, the uh, jet tender uh, with this longitudinal tunnel let's say yeah. uh, we have the possibility we have the stairs to assess yeah. the cockpit and uh, uh, on the other side we have the life rate. so everything is here you have a big platinum far for is well uh, well stored and when you close the bathing platform everything the style is, is really exactly. pure yes we have this particular uh, chain uh, yeah, I like that because you you hide the eyes of the of the boat. Yes, and this is shell. a trademark of, of, of Bavaria that they wanted to keep, if possible. They did. They, they didn't tell us we want it, but if you can, and so we, we did this. Yeah. Uh, the style, the signature. See, see, and, and all the, the also the new boats are have the same. Uh, the hull is different, but uh, of course this feature is uh, is uh, constant. They, they call the family Phoenix. Yeah. And so now we will go aboard. Yeah. <coughs> you know, Maurizio, around 10,000 people will go aboard with us. Ah, so, so. <laughs> we have to take care to everybody. Yeah, okay. Very happy that we have so many followers. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, right, go. Please, yes. So maybe we can. Uh, we can begin with the okay, with the cockpit yes. station and cockpit, and mm. after we will discover the mast and uh, the forward mm. section. So, okay. how did you organize this cockpit? But the cockpit uh, was decided to be divided into two islands, uh, with the possibility to lower the to lower tables. the tables in order to have uh, two big sofas if needed. Uh, you can also join together with, uh, with another wooden part. And the idea was to keep the helmsman, uh, that sometimes or usually is the owner, yeah. near to the, Guest. to the guests. Because otherwise is something after not speaking with anybody and he paid the boat and Maybe he it's alone. likes to, and <laughs> he's alone. Yes, exactly. So uh, we have the possibility. We need to, to move free, freely around around the, the, the cockpit that it's quite big, and of course we need. The, the also was required to have the possibility to helm the boat standing, or something like a more 
racing uh, stand. stand or from here okay my arms are not so long but anyhow you you can reach so it's really safe position see, for the skipper see, see see it's a safe position you know you are surrounded by everything it's easy to step out and go and go forward and here you have all the controls that we usually German call German organization yes yes German organization but uh, you know with a bit of Italian style and I remember that since the space here is very narrow uh, in the office on a table we put uh, a winch and uh, ah, the, the table. just to test how, how we can because you can do things on computer yeah. but sometimes you need to touch by hand uh, sure. uh, here you have everything to control the boat all this electronic stuff including the electronic throttle for the for the engine these are the uh, thruster uh, command of course the nav station and uh, autopilot and this you have the, the screens for uh, the wind uh, and uh, other information you need uh, how many different riggings uh, did you imagine for this boat ah, uh, the sail pen is one and you have the possibility to have uh, as i told the self-taking jib or the small overlapping jib on the longitudinal tracks and uh, uh, you usually rig the boat with the uh, okay mainsail that can be furling or not a jib and you have the option for a big jenaker or a, a sail that is coming more and more common like a code zero yeah. that is very useful in this kind yeah, of boat code zero, yeah. yeah and how many different appendices do you offer uh, we have two two uh, shallow keel and deep keel deep key, yeah. uh, they have the same uh, upper part and the longer or smaller uh, smaller uh, lower part they are l-shaped and this was particularly requested to avoid to catch ropes uh, with the t-bulb that sometimes happens we will now go to the forward section yes. of the boat i follow you it's really comfortable layout to go from the aft to the boom what i immediately like is the yes. size of these uh, of these edges yeah you have also uh, step stairs yeah and this is intended to be uh, either uh, let's say skipper's cabin or to to put down or sails or everything or the big fenders uh, uh, okay for this purpose it's not big but it, it works yeah, and okay. we have also a small a small toilet below Inside, there yeah. yes and the bed and uh, uh, you see it was chosen by the yard not to have the recessed furler yeah. but to have outside and this boat you we can see here is also this the furler for the code say code zero. yeah yeah the now is more or less standard uh, feature the anchor arm yeah. uh, included in the bowsprit and going down there with the with the object so since uh, since yours you have sail about aboard this boat how is she under sail your uh, ah, you know it's it's a big boat in any sense yeah. so uh, it's uh, pre she prefers to have a bit of wind so uh, from uh, eight and knots up she is giving the the, the, the best and yeah. of course you can sail up to 20 30 40 in absolutely safe yeah. and the boat is not uh, is not a slow boat for to be a, a cruising one so uh, you we have are a specific souvenir about this boat uh, sailing this boat but i think that the, the the nicest thing is that it's very balanced so you can helm uh, with very light uh, very light uh, effort or the, on, on the wheel and she goes more or less alone, alone. so a, a very good route stability also if the keel is not big because we try to, to to have an underwater part uh, a bit uh, sporty. 
transporting. So, so what about the internal layout? How many different layouts do you imagine for this Bavaria 57 mm. uh, Mauritius? But we have we have a base one with several options. Uh, the main area is more or less the same for all for all the for all the versions. Uh, we have the we choose to put the kitchen transversally in order to have the maximum possible uh, space and uh, use use the full length and uh, uh, there is a small step here yeah. to to have enough uh, enough room also going also going forward uh, the possibility you have is to have here the bunk cabin that it's like this version yeah or uh, to have another another uh, toilet here or you can use it uh, without beds as a utility utility room maybe uh, you can really put practical by selling exactly exactly uh, it's a request that is uh, increasing and increasing by yeah. the by the owners what what you uh, chart table sh char table is here also uh, we have a double possibility for the sofa and we have uh, uh, the possibility to have uh, one big owner cabin like this one or for the charter version two twin cabins divided by longitudinal uh, bulkhead let's go to discover mm. his owner yes. mm. wow, wow. ah both is big so <laughs> you, you have a proper a proper bed a king size one and uh, you see where one nice thing is that you can go around and yeah. go on the bed without going over the the uh, the, sure. the other lot person of, lot of storage yes lot of storage and uh, real we, storage yes a long a long one to yeah. put uh, the family the wife uh, wife uh, dresses uh, here we have the the toilet is separate because you have a um, the possibility to have shower yeah. in one and the uh, sorry mm. and the toilet in in the other one we have we have a small beauty parlor here for ladies and uh, I think that's uh, plenty of space and as in uh, uh, every part of the boat you have a lot of light uh, natural light. Natural light. Yes, exactly. It was uh, your your brief. You wanted you to integrate a lot of natural light. Yes, inside. because I, li I like uh, how can I say bright boats and uh, luminous boat. I don't like the, the old uh, surrounded uh, and uh, old uh, classic. Yes, old exactly, classical exactly, classical exactly. Uh, exactly. Same boats. So Aft is quite is quite standard with the twin cabins. Twin cabins. Yes, mm. but big big twin cabins. Uh, wow. Yes, because as I told you, Nicola, the, with the with the big hull we have, uh, uh, it's possible to to have also volume. volumes. Yes, each, and each here aft cabin has its uh, exactly own uh, its own uh, own toilet with separate yeah. shower. I'm not a tall guy, but there is enough space also <laughs> for the Nordic people that has usually some details about finishing. Yes. Nice I have to say that the, the of course is a serious big serious production yard yeah. but uh, I really found that uh, they are capable to work uh, uh, properly yeah. they uh, also the lamination of the hull is done inside in the yard yeah. and uh, every phase of the production is inside the furniture everything is built there and we follow the um, the it's production of the pr the first boat from the beginning to the end, and we were surprised that uh, uh, the quality was higher than expected. Yeah. And if you tell them the right thing, they do the right thing. Yeah. So mm, in this sense, we, we it was unexpected, uh, and was a, a big surprise. And we are very happy that we can we can work with them in a in a good way. So Maurizio, our private tour of uh, Bavaria 57 is coming to an end. Okay. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. We enjoyed a lot. It mm. was a pleasure, great pleasure. Are you working 
a new project with Bavaria in terms of uh, sale yokes. Yes, uh, we are working currently now. The, the office is uh, busy with uh, with this project. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you anything more. Oh, really? But for sure, uh, <laughs> uh, early early spring next year you will see something new. Something new. Something new. Yes. I, I could try. I could try to ask a question. Uh, yes, you can try, but I, I'm not. I cannot assure I will answer. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Mauricio. Thanks a lot to you, Nicola. Thanks a lot, and bye.